Hello everyone, this is Preeti. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, today I'm um, once again I'm back with few of the interview questions that has been asked to me during an analyst interview round. So there are certain puzzles that has been asked to me. So the very first one is how you can cut a round cake three times to make eight equal slices. So we know that um, basically we can cut a cake. Uh, like if we cut it in a simple way, we need to cut it four times if we want eight equal slices. So what approach we can use here? So there can be, you know, there can be multiple approaches to solve a problem. And why these puzzles plays an important role? I think this plays a vital role uh, for panelists. They actually want to see how, you know, the candidate is assessing the problem. So uh, it mainly represents your problem solving and thinking abilities, actually your problem solving skills, your thinking abilities. So they basically come to know how a candidate is approaching the answer. So here approaching the answer is more important rather than the final solution. So like say um, for the first now, um, what uh, we can do, we can just first cut um, the cake into two halves and after cutting it we can place both the halves uh, one above the another and then again cut it into four pieces then similarly we are going to repeat that process again and place that four pieces one above the another and cut them again to make it into eight pieces so in this way we just made three cuts and uh, we just cut it down into eight equal pieces so if you have like any other approach in your mind, you can write down in the comment section. So in next question is like in a meeting room, there are six people, including you, and each person is greeting the other with handshake. So how many unique handshakes were done? So there are uh, total six person, including you. So each person will shake hand with the other. So that is six into six. It will be um, 36 shake hands however if like uh, the first person shakes hand with the second person then second person has shaken hand with a so each hand uh, shaken hand we have counted it twice so we can divide it by uh, two as well so one another thing each you know there are six people so each person shakes hand with the other five not with six I so we are going to use here n into n minus 1 divided by 2 where n is equals to 6. So n into n minus 1 that is 5. Uh, so 6 into 5 is 30 divided by 2. So the answer is 15. So the answer is uh, correct answer is 15. So the next question is let's say you have 7 marbles and out of those 7, 6 are equal in weight. So it means that there is only one marble that has a different weight, rest all are of same weight. How to identify the different one? And the one hint is you can use the weight scale here. So how we can uh, identify the different one? So what we can do here, we can just put three on uh, one side and rest three on other sides. We have total seven. So what we can do, we can just put three, three on both the sides and we can see if they are equal in weight or not. If one is like heavier than other, it will be up. So similarly, then we can see which side is up and we can do it repeatedly to get the unique one. When we will get both the, you know, uh, both the uh, sides at equal level. So it means all the six are of same weight and the one we are left with is of different weight. So the next question, uh, question is there is a pond and at the center it grows a beautiful lotus flower and this flower actually keeps on growing double each day. So if we look it after 20 days the lotus will have covered the entire pond. So how much time it will take to cover half of the pond it's quite easy it's actually 19. This last question is actually available on all internet as well you can search it over there. So I'm not going to explain it all. So uh, one more thing, guys, this is a my way of approaching the problem. So this is how I am approaching it. And your, you know, thinking ability must be different. Your approach for solving the problem must be different. And I would like if you guys write down in the comment section how you would like to approach this problem. So what will be your solution? Definitely during these guesting meets, I have already told you final answer is not, you know, 
the final answer is not the thing that matters the thing that matters is your approach uh, to you know solve it approach to get the answer so that's all about today's video if you have learned something if you like the video please like it and do subscribe the channel stay tuned bye bye